All right, so let's add in some hair. And I originally was gonna give her just like dark brown hair because uh, the hair on the face we use has dark brown hair, but I was thinking because our vampire has dark brown hair, maybe we'll give her like really like platinum blonde, almost white hair. I think that'll be a nice contrast between the two. So let's, let's lay all that in next. So let's grab our uh, hair pictures. I got this one, and I got this one. And I intentionally picked pictures uh, where they were on black backgrounds because clipping out blonde hair on a dark background will just make things so much easier on me. So I'm gonna use this hair for like the uh, hairline in the front part, and I'm gonna use this hair for like, like back hair flowing up flowing away from her. So let's do this section first. I'm going to start off just by generally cutting out what I want. And obviously I'm not going to cut out all this nonsense with the pen tool. Uh, that's just not possible. So I'm just going to get the basic chunks with the pen tool that I want. And I'm just gonna cut off like right in the middle of the forehead so we can so we can blend this forehead to the other woman's forehead. That'll just make things easier. I'm not sure how much I want down here. I don't want all this. I think I just want this section, so I'm gonna have to mask that off separately later. Alright, so let's select that first. And now let's just get a general selection of what I want. So I want like that up into there. And uh, like down here. And also like all this stuff over here. All right, let's work with that for now. So let's go to our channels. And let's see. Probably gonna be red. Not blue, not green. Yep, it's red. When you're doing blonde hair, it's usually the red channel that you want. All right, pump our blacks up, pump our whites up. Uh, now we'll go into dodge. On highlights. Actually, you know what? Let's do that a different way. Let's take a brush and put on overlay and let's paint with white. Yeah, that's that's working out a lot better. And now let's paint with black on overlay to darken areas up. Alright, let's select that and see how that looks. So let's try doing a color overlay on that. Take a sample out of the hair and put that on lighten. Cause I want to get rid of all that black. See, I turned that off and you got some black edges, but lighten will just get rid of all that for me. Actually, you know what? I think I want to do instead. Let me make a new layer and clip that to that. Because I wasn't finding one single color that looked good throughout it, so... I'm just going to paint in that lighten layer. Differently depending on the hair around it, because some colors work better. Depending on the position of the hair and the highlights. All right, yeah, that looks better. So let's go into that hair layer we clipped out with the pen tool. And I'm gonna just blend that a little bit. All 
All right, so I think that looks good. So I'm actually gonna merge that. All right, so let's bring that in. Scale that down a bunch. Want it right about there. And I'm gonna darken up her forehead skin a little bit. It'll just make it easier to, to blend in with this other one. I wanna keep her hair pretty light, but I do need to darken up her skin. All right, so let's call that hair, let's call that hair one. And let's make that all into one new group. Let's call it hair. So I'm gonna to need to match this new hairline to the old hairline, so it'll all blend together well. And it doesn't look too far off right now, so it might not take too much effort to do that. So let's start masking that off and see just how close we are as far as matching the heads and the hairlines. And I'm going to burn that hairline a little more. Just so we can get a better blend between the two foreheads. Just going to move all that in just a little bit more. So let's just try to blend those two together even better. Because there's still, there's still too much of a visible line from one to the other. And we do not want that. All right, that looks pretty decent. We still gotta worry about kind of down here and down here, about how that blends in with everything else. But other than that, that's looking pretty good. And to sell it even more, I can take a sample out of her hair, the white hair, and just kind of maybe paint in some, paint in some hairs just to help with that transition with a more believable hairline. And I'll call that layer hairs because I'll be going back to it and painting in more hairs later. All right, so, but I see an issue on her face. Uh, let me turn that off. Like she has a highlight, there's light coming in from the side of her face here. So she's got a little bit of rim lighting on her face, but now her her face is mostly covered up from the hair, so we want to get rid of that, that highlight. So let's make a new layer and put that on darken. Take a sample out of the dark. I'm just gonna paint out that highlight. And probably just darken that whole area in general, because now it's, it's gonna be more in shadows from her hair being right there. And maybe just paint in a couple of hairs over that section. And I'm just kind of noticing now the shape of the back of the head with the hair doesn't quite match up with the shape, uh, how the shape would be with this face. I need to bring this area out a little more. It's a little too squished on this side. So I'm going to go into liquify. I'm just going to push out this area here. So it's a little more like that. So let's do that next. Uh, let's get a brush size about like that. Let's just start pushing out that hair. Maybe a little bit smaller. All right, let's see how that looks. That might be good. All right, so let's add in more hair. Let's go back to that second hair picture we had. And speaking of, let me minimize that. 
And let's go to this one. And I think I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna grab... This whole section here. I might use this section too, but I think I'll get that separately. So go to our red channel. Turn up the darks, turn up the lights. And let's try that, see how that looks. So I just copy and paste that. And we got some dark around our edges, but we can get rid of that later. So this should be good. And I want to flip that horizontal. Just brighten that up a bunch. Hmm. It'll take a little work to get these two these two pieces of hair to work together, but we'll we'll get it. Let's put a mask on that so you can't see that on our forehead there. I'm trying to think of what would be the best way to blend it. Just to put this on top and mask this one off or to put it on the bottom and mask the other one off. I'm not sure. Well, let's, let's mess around a little bit. Like, that doesn't look bad. That doesn't look bad at all. That might be... That might be the way to go. That does blend together fairly decently, actually. Like, this section kind of just flows into that section. That's good. It's always good when things work out like that. Because they don't always. They uh, More often than not, they don't. Unfortunately. Let's try something. Let's put that on top. Let's duplicate this one. Put it on top. Maybe put that on like lighten. You know what, I kind of like that. Actually, you know what, let's clip it to that layer. Yeah, I like that. That adds a little more depth to it. I'm not sure how I feel about all this hair kind of swooping like that in that one direction. Or if I want it more random. But, I think for now, I'll just... I'll leave that side as is.